The High Performance Wireless Research and Education Network is a National Science Foundation funded network research project which also functions as an enabling interdisciplinary and multi-institutional cyber infrastructure on research, education, engineering and first responder activities. HPN currently conducts network quality of service and policy-based routing research across many user applications and a large geographic area. The network stretches from San Clemente Island to near the Arizona border and from the Mexican border to the Joshua Tree National Park. Such a rectangular area would encompass almost 20,000 square miles. Areas covered include ocean regions, inland mountains and the desert. Examples of connected sites include astronomy observatories, ecology and wildlife environments, earth science sensors and first responder sites. The network is made up of anten antenna links, some of them as in excess of 40 miles. They're uh, made up of antennas that can be as large as 10 feet in diameter and almost 400 pounds. Uh, these, we normally install these antennas using winches, cranes, and in some cases we've even used helicopter. The Samuel Ocean Telescope here at Palomar is a prime user of HP REN. With it, we've discovered five of the six biggest objects known in the Kuiper Belt. That includes Eris, which is bigger than Pluto, and Sedna, the most distant object in the solar system. We've also been using this telescope to discover supernovae and other transient phenomena in real time, and then follow them up remotely um, with observers and other telescopes hundreds or even thousands of miles away. The NSF-supported HP REN is just vital to Palomar Observatory. It allows us to make use of our old telescopes in ways that we never could before, uh, from discoveries for, to asteroids that might threaten our Earth, to things at the farthest reaches of the universe, gamma ray bursts that we study all the time. As an education and research center, one of the important aspects of our program is to project education to as many people as possible to help them understand the role of gray wolves in the wild. This program, in partnership with HP Wren, allows us to do that. We would not be able to do that without the ability to put a camera inside an enclosure and have the technology to send that message all over the world. In addition to education, we've also been able to increase our access to researchers. Researchers have been able to study the behavior and the vocalizations of these wolves remotely without impacting their behavior. This is critical with wolves because the presence of humans does truly change their behavior, so you won't get natural results if you are physically present while you're observing them. The National Park Service and HP Wren have been working on a cyber infrastructure project which enables scientists and students to remotely access data and information associated with the park's cultural and natural resources. Kala Indian Reservation, uh, where we had students um, not at the park, were now interacting with a ranger that was occurring here. This is something that we can now do nationally very effectively. Well. And the other thing that we're kind of looking forward to are the opportunities from scientists, especially some of the physical pro uh, projects that could occur through this project, looking at the shifts in sand over time, looking at erosion processes. We have used HP Wren as a test bed to develop real-time data delivery systems for seismic networks, for GPS networks, and for ocean observing systems. These systems have been propagated out into the NSF uh, MREs for the Earth Scope and the US Array program for the uh, Plate Boundary Observatory program, as well as being used as a foundation for the development of the Ocean Observatories Initiative. HP Wren and the technology transfer has allowed us to extend this, this wireless broadband connectivity to hundreds of sensors throughout a 4,600 acre reserve and has allowed researchers to access this data at their desktops and be able to see the quality and the um, extent of the data collection. And th that really has changed the way that, that researchers uh, collect data. The collaborations between HP Wren and the California Department of Forestry and Fire Protection and all the first responders that benefit here in Southern California, especially in San Diego County, have been very beneficial over the past few years. HP Wren was able to, in collaboration with the first responders, find out their many needs in technology, one of those being the needs for a high-speed data connectivity into their incident command post for their large fires. What I've seen as a difference um, years back is when we had the webcam with the tutoring with UCSD. 
Uh, that made a difference with the students that improved their grades, like I've always said in the past, from uh, Ds and Fs to As and Bs. This is an 80-foot tower that is on one of our reservations here in San Diego County, and this is one of the spawn-offs that we have from the HP Rand project when it first impacted our communities. This, this amazing story about what's happened since 2001 and when HP Wren first came here and we first had access to it and how it's not only changed my life and the things that I've done, but how it's changed the course of our community's path through time, right? It changes. It, we're, we're, on this, we're on this path line that I like to say, right, time is like a straight line, but when, when things hit it, it the, the flow of the stream changes and you have a, a new future path. And when HP Wren came, it really impacted our communities more than I think that we'll ever know.